What's up everybody, welcome back to How It's Done. Today I'm going to show you how to make your dumb garage door smart. What I mean by that is you add a little box up here and you add this little sensor on the door and your garage door can be opened from your phone. You can program it to close at a certain amount of time at night, like say 11 p.m. or 10.30 p.m. If you're like me, you constantly forget and leave the garage door open. Well, this is the solution. You can create a schedule and you can do it that way. You can also schedule Amazon to deliver things in your garage. So they will click a button, the garage door will open, they set things inside the garage, and they press a button and stand there and wait for the garage door to close. Goodbye porch pirates. So yeah, a lot of benefits to this. You can also let guests inside your house if they show up and you know they're ahead of scheduling, you're not home yet, press a button, the garage door opens, you let them in. So very cool, very convenient, and you don't have to buy a brand new garage door opener. This whole thing just cost me 30 bucks on Amazon. So go ahead and check it out. And let's get into it. Do me a favor though, before we get started, give this video a thumbs up. That'll help the YouTube algorithm push this out to as many people as possible. Uh, so we can help eliminate porch pirates and make people's lives a little simpler. Alright, so. Got a little get free in garage delivery. Looks like that's just a quick, you know, step-by-step -step guide on that, so we'll use that a little later. And then, comes with your guide. Now, you want to make sure that you keep this. I know you're watching this video, you probably don't need this for anything you're thinking, but this serial number down here, that I'm kind of covering because I don't want y'all to know my serial number, you're going to need that for setting it up, probably. We'll see. So... Go ahead and throw that away for now. You've got some mounting hardware in the box, the controller, and the door part, which basically just sticks on the back of the garage door. And then some safety stickers, basically telling you, warning you could crush a child. Hmm. Yeah. Don't need that. All right. So, where to mount this? I would recommend you mount it and plug it in where your garage door is plugged in at. So just mount it to the ceiling. But realistically, there's any number of places you could mount it. Plugs on the wall, plug near the back, if you got a plug by the switch, anything like that will work. But we're going to go ahead and mount it up here for the purpose of this video. So it comes with a little mounting bracket, real straightforward. Something like this, typical plastic anchor setup. You're going to poke two holes in there and then uh, put the an plastic anchors through and take your screws and screw them through to the plastic anchor. What I'm going to do is mount them about right here where I know there's a stud and I'm just going to screw this bracket straight into the stud. So let's do that. All right, so we got this set up. You'll notice there's a little arrow on one side here and there's a little arrow at the top of this. So when you push it up there, screw it into place. You're basically going to do that and just turn it so that the arrow's facing the same way. Pull this plastic off. Go ahead and plug it in. And you'll notice that there's three lights here. The blue one has started blinking. So what you're going to do then is download the MyQ app and set up a username and password if you haven't done so already. I've already done that because I've got this uh, set up for my parents' house. So what you'll do is go to your account, go to device management, and hit the little plus sign up here. And then Smart Garage Hub, Smart Garage Control. And it says you'll need access to your garage door opener, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi password, ladder, uh, 5 30 second drill bit, which I don't think we're going to need because we've already set you know, installed it, Bluetooth and location services. All right, I'm ready. It says it should be blinking blue. We just saw that it is. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. It discovered it because we're connected to Wi-Fi. So good, we're gonna go ahead and click next. Pairing request, all right. So we're gonna allow it to pair. Pair, because it's connecting through Bluetooth. Now let's go ahead and select our Wi-Fi. We'll put in our password, next.
and it will connect to your garage door. One important thing to do when messing with garage doors like this, um, make sure that the light in the garage door opener works. A lot of the times the garage door opener devices use a blinking light to indicate that programming has been completed. All right, so let's see, your device is now connected and it should have a green light. Let's see if it has a green light. It looks like it's got a green light. Cool. All right, press the next button. Cool. Firmly pull out the tab on the door sensor. Ah, now we're at this part. Cool. So. Over here to the door sensor. We'll pull out the tab. Good. All right, we're done with that. Next. Press and release the button in the front. And you'll see a red LED. I did. All right, now we hit next. The next step, you will pair your garage door sensor with your smart garage door hub. Tap the next button to begin. Now push and release. Ah, there we go. Good. So you got to wait for it to beep. And then it sends you a video on how to mount it. But you know what? I'm already recording a video, so we're going to skip this part. Because all you do is take the double-sided strips, stick them on the back here, and then stick it in one corner of the garage door. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, so as you can see, I stuck the Velcro pieces on there, took the adhesive off the back, or the not the adhesive, but the... Uh, protective piece off the back. But what I'm going to do first is wipe down the area where I'm going to stick this to. Now it says to stick it to the door itself, but honestly, this gets a lot of heat, um, especially during the summer. It gets the sun during the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it to this rail here. So I'm going to wipe this down real good because you want it to stick to a clean surface so that you're not sticking it to dust. It's going to make it just peel off. The other thing you want to make sure is if you're sticking it to the rail, obviously that it's not going to come in contact with anything. Um, it's a rail, it shouldn't, but just be careful. So I'm going to mount it right about here. So we're going to take this and make sure that the part that says top, come on, focus, there you go, that the part that says top is facing upward. So I don't know how much the orientation really matters on this. And then I'm going to hold it for 30 seconds because it is Velcro that's sticking through there. So you want to have a good amount of pressure and let it get itself nice and set up and stuck. Um, actually, I guess orientation would matter on this because it's probably got a level sensor. So, yeah. All right, I think that's long enough. I'll go ahead and pull... off and now we'll go through and we'll start programming this Whoop. I'm turned off. all right so now we're gonna start programming this with the garage door so we'll hit next go grab a ladder to access your garage door motor control all right got one next all right what brand do you use all right I use a craftsman because I'm a craftsman okay cool the learn button will be located on the side of your opener. Really? That's weird. Not really. That's normal. Alright, so... Learn button, we're going to have to open an access panel, and there's the learn button. Good. Found it. It's purple. Alright, quickly press and release the... And the door opener should turn on. LED on the garage door opener should turn on. All right, let's see if that happens. Yep, it's on. All right, next. We are now attempting to pair with your motor. Oh, see, the light just flashed. Like I told you, you want to have the lights in here. So I'm thinking that means it's a good thing. There we go. Garage door's opening. Good sign. All right. Garage door two just opened. Yeah, good. 
I hope there's a way to rename these. Ah, yes, there is. All right. Brian's home garage. Cool. Done. Next. All right. If you have purchased a second door sensor, um, we'll just hit next because I haven't done that. Installing hub. We're already done installing the hub, so I'm just going to skip through these. But if you want to watch them, feel free. I'm a Prime member. Cool. Here's how we get to set this up for in-home delivery. All right, so it'll bring up your Prime account. It'll ask you where this is located. You'll pick your address and you'll select in-home delivery or in garage and it'll ask you to select which one. Success. Amazon key setup complete. Next. What is Amazon day and key delivery? All right, so just some explanation of different things in there. This is one of those that isn't clearly pointed out and it doesn't make sense because you hit it once and it says open and you would think that means it's opening but it's not what you do is you hit it once to activate it and then it says open you hit it again to actually open the garage door so evidently the apps changed a bit since I installed this for my parents so that's what you have to do now on that same note as a safety feature when you press to close it Again, press it once, press it again to close. And you'll see it'll blink and the light blinks because it can't make the light on the garage door blink. I'm sorry, it beeps and blinks, there you go. And then it starts to close the garage door. That's a warning to anybody that may be in the path that it's gonna close. So, there you have it, pretty straightforward.